Hi everyone, this is Shazi Rafiq and uh, today I'll be discussing break-even analysis. Well, break-even analysis is a financial tool which helps to determine the stage a firm is profitable. In order to understand uh, break-even analysis, we need to understand certain things. The first will be fixed cost. Now, what does fixed cost mean? Now, fixed cost is a cost which do not change with the level of output, for example, the, the rental value. If I decide to rent out a place, and the, let's suppose the rent of the place is 10,000 rupees, so if I produce nothing, I have to pay the rent at the end of the month again. And if I, if I use the capacity at full capacity utilization, then also I have to pay the same amount. Therefore, it, uh, the value of output, uh, the quantity does not depend upon the cost. So in this scenario, the diagram will be something like this. Quantity, the cost and the fixed cost will be a straight line, a perfectly elastic curve. So you can see at this point, you produce zero quantity, but still your fixed cost is 10,000. Similarly, at this point, you produce 500 units and still your cost is fixed. It, do, it does not change with the level of output. It does not change with the quantity. And if I use the capacity at, uh, if I use the capacity at full capacity utilization, then also I have to pay rupees 10,000. It means the quantity does not depend upon the cost. The cost does not change with the level of output. So this is said to be your fixed cost. Se second important thing that we need to understand is variable cost. Now, variable cost means the cost which varies with the level of output. For example, the labor cost, we need, we pay, uh, if we pay labor on, on daily wages, on hourly wage, on piece rate, then it is it is supposed to be a variable cost because how much quantity they will produce, they will be paid accordingly. Similarly, the, 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 the cost of the raw material, if I produce one marker, I have to use uh, raw material of one marker and if I, if I produce thousand markers, then I have to use the raw material accordingly. So, it means the cost varies with the level of output. The output increases, the cost will increase. If there is no output, there will be no cost. It means variable cost will be zero if we do not produce anything. Therefore, <clears throat> variable cost is equals to quantity into variable cost per unit. If I produce nothing and considering the cost of the labor and the cost of the raw material is $10, then you can see the total variable cost will be zero. And similarly, if I produce 500 units with the same average cost, average variable cost, then the total variable cost would be $5,000. And if I produce 1,000 units at $10 each, then my total variable cost would be $10,000. So you can see that the per unit cost do not change, but the change in quantity is basically changing the overall variable cost. In this scenario, what you need to do is, here we take quantity, cost and you can see your variable cost will start from the origin and then it will move upward. This is variable cost curve. At origin when we produce nothing the variable cost would be 0 too. At this point you can see when we produce 500 units the cost will be 5000 dollars. And when we produce 1000 units the cost would be $10,000 so you can see 
the quantity is dependent the variable cost is dependent on quantity the level of quantity changes the variable cost uh, changes too so this is said to be your variable cost uh, now fixed cost is do not change with the level of output and variable cost is the cost which changes with the level of output the third important thing we need to understand is total cost now what does total cost means total cost is equals to fixed cost plus variable cost now fixed cost is constant that is 10,000 we already have uh, seen here that is $10,000 so the to fixed cost will be 10,000 and variable cost let's suppose if we produce 500 units at $10 each then our variable cost uh, make it 1000 if we produce 1000 unit at the $10 each then it would be something like this 10000 plus 10000 dollar dollar it would be 20000 dollars if we produce at full capacity so if we utilize the full capacity that is 1000 units and if we produce 1000 units at $10 each then total cost would be $20,000 so this would be our total cost this is our total cost so graphically how can we represent it we can draw this let's draw this this is quantity and this is again cost now as you can see the total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost it means when variable cost is zero the total cost is equal to fixed cost it means total cost can never be zero so the starting point of the total cost would be the same that that is the fixed cost if your fixed cost starts from let's suppose ten thousand dollars here then your total cost will start from this point too and how long will it go as we have supposed that we are producing at full capacity that is one thousand units and the total cost is it's 20,000 so it will be somewhere this is the ending point now this is the starting point and this is the ending point so you need to start from here and then it moves upward this is your total cost curve it always starts from fixed cost and then it moves upward so uh, let's repeat it again the fixed cost which do not change with the level of output the variable cost with changes with the level of output and the total cost is the cost which have both fixed cost and variable cost and it is it always starts from the fixed cost the point of fixed cost it do not start from the origin because fixed cost is equal to total cost when we are producing nothing Now you can see one thing more, if I draw fixed cost here, this is my fixed cost, so the difference in between total cost and fixed cost that is this, you can see this is my variable cost. So the variable cost is the difference between total cost and fixed cost, so you do not need to re uh, draw when you draw the the fixed cost and you draw the total cost the difference in between is said to be your your variable cost thank you